Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Guy, and today I'm talking about the effects of not periodically topping up your skill set and thus letting your muscle memory fade away. More specifically though, we're focusing on sniping and how I personally have allowed my ability to tail off massively, which has me often questioning, where did my shot go, why can't I do what I did before, which can be very very frustrating. And I'd also like to know if you guys suffer similarly if you don't pick up a sniper or another weapon for an extended amount of of time. To illustrate this point, I'll show you bits and pieces from a video I made over a year ago. This footage is all from my sniping guide, which I'll link to in the description and my pinned comment if you want to watch it fully. At this point of playing Battlefield, I was extremely comfortable using a sniper rifle. I mean, I look back at this stuff and just go, oh, I could hit some shots. Oh, and I should probably point out that I'm a console player, for those of you who aren't aware. I know that some of this won't look all that impressive when compared with what can be done on PC with a mouse and keyboard. But sniping with thumbsticks is a whole different ball game, and there's no auto rotation when using a scope sniper, whereas there is when using an infantry or carbine variant, albeit a lot less than they used to be, thank god, <laughs> because it was ridiculous before. But anyway, I can no longer do a fair amount of what you're watching, or at least not as reliably. The ability has just faded, and that's not particularly unusual. I pick up a sniper much less frequently now than I used to, and what with covering all the weapons that I have on this channel, there's just less opportunity to snipe and thus maintain or improve upon what I'm capable of. So I'm not going to pretend that today we're looking at some super intellectual concept or anything like that. I was just like, huh, I'm not as good at this as I used to be, which sucks, but I found it interesting. And I guess it's just good for you guys to hear that sometimes as well. You know, so you don't get that perception that content creators are just good regardless of what they do or whatever. So if you struggle sometimes, don't sweat it. It happens literally to everybody, just to different degrees. Do you think, say, a pro card or CSGO player cannot play the game for a year or so and then jump straight back into competition and achieve the same level they could before. Of course not, so don't expect yourself to be able to do it either. It's going to take me some time to get my sniper shot back. If I decide I want to get back to where I was before and I'm willing to put the time in. Realistically though, I probably won't on BF1. It'd be a harder grind now with the faster TTK of almost all other weapons and I'm just not into BF1 like I was before. But I absolutely would like to pull off some crisp be sniping when Battlefield 5 drops, so I'll almost certainly be putting the time and effort in then, because it feels good to be able to snipe well, at least for me and I'm sure for many other people, and I'm certain there's a lot of people out there who'll be queuing up to watch some sweet sniper gameplay on a new Battlefield title, I know I will be, but my current level of ability means you shouldn't be expecting me to go ham with a sniper on stream anytime soon. Wait, what? Did he just say the S word? Stream? Yes! That thing I've mentioned multiple times in the past few months and you've had to wait patiently for it as it just hasn't materialised. Well, I intend to stream at some point in the next 7 days or so. I'm not exactly sure when, but I have almost everything sorted now. I just want to tweak my audio a little and a few more things. But yeah, I'll be streaming. I'm thinking of kicking it all off with kind of the start of an episodial thing, which will be called Service Star Hunter. As I recently said, I tried to get a Service Star with every primary weapon in the game. I figured why not chill out and do it whilst talking to you guys. So I hope you'll be looking forward to that. Along with BF1 streams, I then plan to also do some long streams when the Forsaken DLC drops for Destiny 2, and then soon after that we'll be into Battlefield 5. So it's all exciting stuff. And now, make sure you let me know in the comments below how you find returning to sniping or a specific weapon when you haven't used it for a long time. I'd be very interested to hear your experiences. And as I'm sure the vast majority of people usually click off the video as it's winding down, here's a potential reward for staying this deep into the video. What you're seeing on screen now is a code for the PC Alpha of Battlefield 5, which is running currently. I managed to get hold of it yesterday and I figured, as I don't play PC, I'd let one of you guys enjoy it. So the first person to enter that code will be able to play the Alpha for the next day or two. Or whenever it ends, I think it's a day or two, we'll see. Whoever you are, I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoyed the video as a whole, a like rating would be appreciated, as would a subscription if you're new here. And finally, turn on those notifications so YouTube doesn't cause you to miss future videos. Now let's go over to the Board of Awesome for the epic people who allow you to get content from me full time. Patreon support literally allows me to do what I'm doing now because otherwise I'd need to go and get another job. So thank you so very much to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, links to the Patreon page are in the description and in my pinned comment. And with that all said, I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Laters.